Is that some fun? Ow. I'm gonna die. In the last video, I began my loop around northeast Switzerland, heading through Austria and Liechtenstein along the way. I then left the rhine Juravella route, having followed it for more than 2,000 kilometers. I cycled parallel to the Alps for the next week, got stopped twice by police, had many pictures taken, and eventually made it into Zurich. Then it was downhill, back to the crossover point where I'd been a week before around the other side of Lake Constance and into Germany, which is where I will spend the next days enduring the Bavarian Alps, because I wanted to make a 400 kilometer detour to visit a famous castle. So without further ado, please enjoy episode five. one 10 second shot thought I'd lost you tiny speck of black in the middle of nowhere walk like a mile for this finally back at the bike Seven in the morning. I arrived in uh, Fassen last night, and yeah, I'm about what, a mile and a half, three miles, somewhere around there, from uh, Nashwanstein Castle. And no, I cannot pronounce it correctly. So I think it's somewhere up that mountain you can see in the distance. But despite trying to spot it all of yesterday, I did not see it. So today, we're going all the way up with the tour bike. Uh, if they'll actually let me through the toll roads <laughs> because I don't think bikes are allowed but I've traveled a whole month to see this so I really hope they'll let me in so yeah somehow I made it up in one piece Well, there wasn't any real good view from the front, so we're going to go up the hiking trails and off-road and hope for the best. Find the bike. Hello to going uphill. Okay. 
I think I found a good viewpoint. Downside is Well now all I have to do is drag the bike two miles up a hill. Yay me. You're probably wondering why I took a 400 km detour just to see a castle. While most people know this castle as the original inspiration for Sleeping Beauty, I knew it through watching Chitty Chitty Bang Bang as a child. I used to have a 3D replica puzzle, which I tried many times to build and always failed. So when I was workawaying in the Netherlands, I decided to have one last go at building it. I then realised that the castle was actually not that far off my route. So I made the choice to divert the tour for a week to finally see Nashwenstein for myself. Nashwenstein is behind me and look at those mountains. Wow. Luckily, I'm almost done with them and now heading towards the Danai River. It'll be nice and flat hopefully. With my detour complete, I was now heading north towards the Danube River, which I would follow for the next 2,000 kilometers through seven countries until northern Serbia, where I would switch to a different Eurovela route heading towards Asia. But to see how it went, you'll have to wait for episode six. If you're enjoying these videos, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. It would mean a lot to me since I've put months of work into this video series and your support is greatly appreciated. Mm -hmm.